Hey guys, I'm here with Comicsverse, and we are at New York Comic Con 2017. I'm here with Edgardo Miranda Rodriguez. I know you get asked this a lot, but uh, La Pobre Kenya, what was the inspiration to the story? And like, it definitely has some real world cultural background, so could you give us a little bit more info on that? Well, for the last four years under my studio, Somos Salte, I've actually been in the publishing game in comic books. Um, publishing um, now my third graphic novel with DMC, who's literally right over there. Um, publishing my first comic book in a series with um, John Luis Samo. Um, but I wanted to do something that was really focused on real world issues, particularly those of Puerto Rico, um, to reflect my heritage, but also to reflect a uh, humanitarian crisis that's been happening on the island for some time now. A uh, humanitarian crisis affecting three and a half million Americans living on the island, which is more than a total of Alaska, Nevada, and Iowa states combined. And given the fact that these um, three and a half million Americans have been living on the island, they've been Americans since 1917 under the jones Shaffer Act. And they've never really been able to celebrate their full American citizenship, so they've not been able to vote for president, but they've been serving in American wars since World War I. And so, knowing well what that means and this duality of um, culture, living here in the United States and having family in Puerto Rico was something that's always been a part of my identity, because although we've been given our citizenship as Americans, we were never received fully as Americans. We were treated as second-class citizens. So when Puerto Ricans came here, we've always been establishing our own institutions. We've always been establishing our own stories. From El Museo del Barrio to university studies at various um, campuses across the nation to scholars, because it's important for us to validate and celebrate our own heritage. And it's a part of our resilience that makes us Ricans, Puerto Ricans. And that pretty much is what led me to inevitably be create La Borinquena, Knowing well that in popular culture right now, people are so consumed by superhero culture. However, these superheroes, in, all, in, in, in its truest essence of the form, really represent corporate brands. They're really selling us pajamas and fruit roll-ups. But I wanted to use the traditional storytelling of superheroes, the iconography of superheroes, to really reach a larger audience. Because the economic crisis in Puerto Rico, which really hit a, a, a deadlock in 2015, when the then Governor Padilla said, we're not paying this $80 billion debt. I realized that this information wasn't being disseminated to a larger audience, a larger mainstream audience. And knowing well that since 2006, when Congress closed tax code 936, there has been a massive dip in the economy of Puerto Rico. Some poor decisions made by the island's administrations to sell bonds, unfortunately, led to what the rest of the island, uh, island had to suffer through. But all of this was information that was really readily available through the National Review, the Wall Street Journal, Bloomsburg News, but nobody in the general market was talking about it. And I thought to myself, if I could create a character, a comic book, that I could use as a conduit to really translate these real world issues to the worst of the world, then perhaps on a small scale, I could actually start a national dialogue to get people more aware. And that's exactly what's been happening over the last year and a half. I've been very fortunate to receive an abundance of mainstream um, news coverage from Teen Vogue to Entertainment Weekly, to BuzzFeed, to the Wall Street Journal, to CNN, to NBC, to the New York Times, all talking about this comic book. But by talking about the comic book, they're talking about what's really happening in Puerto Rico. Now, given what's happened in the last couple of weeks with Hurricane Maria and Hurricane Ilma, it makes it even that much more of a reality, the humanitarian crisis happening in Puerto Rico. But for the last year and a half that I've been on tour promoting this book at universities, at museums across the United States, I've been literally saying that it has been a humanitarian crisis. And I've been studying the work of various scientists who have been saying that Puerto Rico was long overdue for natural disaster. And given the state that the island would in, is in with its compromised infrastructure, with a power company that's already $40 billion in debt, the island wouldn't recover. So I actually took all of that research that I did and I actually translated it into my comic book. And in the comic book that I published last December, there is a scene where a hurricane hits the island, leaves the island at a blackout, in flooding, and Marisol, AKA La Borinquena, actually has to go and save some lives. And this is half a year before the actual hurricane hits Puerto Rico. So my comic book for me is really a platform to advocate and represent my heritage and remind us as Puerto Ricans, but also as everyone living in this, in this nation, 
that we have a responsibility to the three and a half million Americans. But as a Puerto Rican living here in the United States, being one of five millions, I, ref I, 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 I feel a responsibility to help and to become more involved. Not just to wave a flag and say WEPA, but to actually be a part of a movement that can galvanize enough of us to make a commitment. And that's actually been happening. With my work, I've been able to pull together comic book artists from the industry of Puerto Rican heritage who've never worked alongside one another, from George Perez to Rags Morales to Gustavo Vasquez to Chris Batista to Will Rosado to Chris Sotomayor, artists who've been in the industry for over 20 years but have never actually worked under the banner or the flag of Puerto Rico for a, a, a cause like this. And even as recently as today, Lin-Manuel uh, Miranda announced the fact that I'm, I'm a part of his project, almost like praying, because he brought me in to do the key artwork, album artwork for that song. And it just shows you from like a comic book nerd like me to a theater nerd like him, as Puerto Ricans, we still have an invested interest to not only raise awareness, but to advocate for our people. And that's really why this comic book was created. Wow, thank you, man. That, is, that was amazing. <laughs> I love that. I, actually, it's, you're right, because as I was reading the, the issue that you gave me, that I bought from you, I also started to feel myself well up a little bit. I, like, tears were coming to my eyes because I see um, La Pura Kenya, she's saving them from this hurricane. I think that the people that are really dealing with this right now, I think, God, how helpful would it be if they had someone like this, if someone like her really did exist? But, it, but you're, in a way, you are helping them out by having her create, by creating her. Well, I'm helping out by reminding us that we have heroic capabilities within ourselves. There's a line I wrote in the story that's actually one of my favorite lines and it's very relevant now when she saves this family and the little boy tells her, yo quiero ser un superhéroe como tú. I want to be a superhero like you. And she says, ay, que gracioso. Oh, how sweet. And she responds by saying, yo solo hago mi parte. I'm only doing my part. Ustedes son los verdaderos héroes. You all are the real heroes. And it's the people in Puerto Rico now that are showing their resilience by coming together. They're not lazy. They're strong. We're fighting. We're helping one another. And I know that with our help here in the US, we're going to help our sisters and brothers in Puerto Rico. And we're going to rebuild Puerto Rico, not only for the island, but for all of us. This has been Edgardo Miranda Rodriguez. I'm Fabio. You guys can find this interview anywhere on social media. www.commonsfirst.com. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Gracias.